Today's video, we're going to be looking at a new knife from Holtzman Gorilla Survival. This is the Silverback D2 Full Tang knife. It is awesome. Stick around. All right, I've done some reviews of Holtzman Gorilla uh, knives in the past. I've done a couple of them. And um, the, the way they present their kits, everything that, they, that it comes with, down to the packaging, is really top notch. And um, I was really, I've been impressed with everything that I've gotten from them. So I saw this knife, I think, on Instagram. Someone had posted that this, this D2 um, Silverback. And I wasn't familiar with this particular model. And when I saw it, it just, there was something about it that just um, appealed to me. It looked like it would be a really solid bushcraft survival user. Um, and I like the fact that, of course, it came with all the accessories, um, which we'll get into here in a second. But um, I went out and I purchased this with my own money. Um, Holtzman did not send this to me. So uh, I wanted to try this thing and I've been so impressed with it since I've gotten it and just a few tasks, minor tasks that I've done with it. I've done some feather sticks and things with some batwood and it's, it performed really well. But what is awesome about this knife is it is D2 steel, okay, G10 handles. Um, it is a 3 ish spine, four inch blade. And you can see the contouring on that handle. Look at that, so there's a swell there is a pronounced finger guard. There are cutouts or grooves towards the front of the handle. And then of course you've got a lanyard hole exposed. It's a full tang knife, um, has a false edge towards the tip. So it, there's a little bit of a taper to it. Um, but the, the thing about this knife is, and what I've been impressed with it so far, is how comfortable it is. Um, there are far more expensive knives on the market that you get them and then the handles are not that great and sometimes you have to buy aftermarket handles to upgrade them um, which adds more expense uh, this knife currently i think it's on sale it's under a hundred dollars um, and there's a discount code down below so if you are interested in this you can get that through the affiliate link but um, you get a really nice handled knife now what's even more cool about this knife is the accessories that it comes with. It comes with a Kydex sheath. This is not plastic or overmolded or anything like that. It is Kydex. Um, it has a leather strap with a button to hold it in. It comes with a tech lock style um, belt attachment, which is awesome. Very adjustable for different belt sizes, but nice positive uh, click and retention. And then to top it all off, uh, you get all that, plus you get a matching ferro rod with G10 handle with the elastic on it, so it goes right on your sheath, and a scraper for the ferro rod G10 handle. So <clears throat> you're getting a pretty decent package, and I think for people who are, you know, putting together bushcraft kits, survival kits, bug out bags, um, knives, um, always tends to be kind of a sticking point for a lot of people. They don't know what to get um, and they end up spending a lot of money um, or not spending enough and just getting junk. Um, I think this is probably one of the better budget minded um, quality knives that I've seen come on the market in a long time. And um, believe me, I have nothing against a lot of the other knife companies. I am a big fan of SE and LT Wright and Cold Steel and uh, Benchmade. I have all those, used all those, and plus custom makers, you know, which you can spend, you know, $400 on a knife. But for the average Joe, you know, working that blue collar job who's not making a ton of money and wants to put together a kit to go out and be confident with it and have all the things that, that he needs to get started, he or she, it's a good option. This is a heavy duty knife. Um, it is really quality. Now, 
Um, it is an American company, Holtzman. It is owned by a gentleman and his family. Um, I believe out in California, I think, is where he's out of, or Arizona. Um, but the knives themselves are manufactured in China. So you need to know that up front. And I think that's it's just fair to be honest about that. So if you have a, um, a problem with that, you know, you may want to move on. But this is one of the better quality knives I've seen come out of China in a long time. Um, it's, you know, they've got the manufacturing process down on this really well. So enough chit chat. Let's um, take this out and kind of play with it and see some of the tasks that it can do um, and see if we can find um, any issues with it. All right, so we got our little lab set up here, um, you know, with a bushcraft survival knife, you're going to want it to do wood processing. Um, that is an important task. Um, something that has to be done to get a fire going. So things that you're going to do, of course, is you're going to do curls and feather sticks. There's a knotty old piece of wood. And the things you're looking for, at least what I look for when I'm, you know, evaluating knives is, first thing I want to know is, I want to know, um, is comfort. Um, I want that knife to be comfortable in my hand when I'm doing tasks like this. Um, and I want to feel like there's a positive grip, like I have control, like it's not slipping. Um, I don't want my hand to feel fatigued in any way. I don't want anything biting into me, creating hot spots. All that. So right off the bat, uh, she's performing as expected. Nice little curly cues off that dry season piece of wood. What I've been taught about batoning is that um, it is a skill um, for when you don't have the axe or hatchet or big knife. Um, it's taking uh, the tool that you have with you and turning it into something that is more capable. It's, you're expanding the capability of that blade um, because you don't have all the tools. You need to think about when you're out doing this kind of stuff, you're not always going to be carrying an axe or a hatchet. That's just doesn't, that's not possible um, for every scenario. I don't carry, in my area, at least in the Midwest, I don't carry axes or hatchets when I'm hunting or when I'm hiking with my family, but I'm going to carry a knife um, always, some kind of fixed blade knife, along with my other tools uh, like pocket knives. Um, so, you know, having the capability of batoning wood to get to the center of dry seasoned wood and to create a surface area for shavings. Okay, there's the scraper. Scraper is a little bit harder to work with because of the size. I think I much prefer using the back of the blade. And then that, that spine, that can be sharpened even further with a Dremel tool or a file. Just take your time and um, put it in a vise if you have one. Yeah, so the knife, I think, is much easier to control. So I'm pulling back. So the other thing with a sharpened spine um, is you can use it to scrape the wood and then what you're doing is you're getting really fine, see all that dust coming off? That's kind of a fuzz. So that's even a finer material that will catch a spark from your ferro rod.
I don't know guys, I'm pretty darn impressed with this knife. I really, really enjoyed using it. Um, I really like how it feels in my hand. It's just so comfortable. Um, it's a it's a it's a big knife as far as being thick. It's a beefy knife, um, but it's not overly long. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to explain it. I think it's really it comes down to the handle is really well done. It's just very comfortable in my particular hand. Um, there is enough blade on this to do a lot of tasks very comfortably and easily. Um, you know, pair this with a good axe and saw, and you really have um, a great woodsman combination to go out and do a lot of different things in the woods. So um, it's handled really well. The, the ferro rod works fine, as you saw with that, uh, it started those curls pretty quickly. Um, man, I just, I like this thing, I like it a lot. Really a cool knife. And for the money, you can't beat it. Um, so. Go down to the affiliate link down below. There is a discount code for you guys um, to get this knife. And look at their other knives too. They have a lot of, you know, I've done a review of the Lava Line, which is a big knife, um, big heavy chopping knife. They make a lot of um, smaller EDC and neck knives. And they also came out with some folding knives here recently that look pretty cool. I haven't tried them yet, but they look great. So this is my new Silverback, love it. Think it's going to be in the rotation uh, pretty heavily i want to use it a lot this year um, and maybe kind of um, set aside some of the other knives that i've been using and kind of focus on this one because i love it i think it's great All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, if you like this content, please subscribe. Um, that always helps the channel, of course. And leave a comment. That helps, too. And then check out the affiliate links down below to Holtzman uh, Gorilla. Also check out the Facebook group, over 6,000 members and growing. And check out the website, preparedwander.com. All that is, helps support the channel so I can keep making great content for you guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer. Yeah, and that edge, it's right there. Still a nice edge.